Hi guys, before we start today's lesson, I would like to review a little bit of what we have done earlier. I'm going to review the main concepts from last week's meeting. Well, not really a meeting, from last week's, um, what, lessons, I guess. So now uh, let me show you this uh, beautiful screen that I've prepared for you, okay? So this is what I will be doing. I will review the three main concepts that we learned last week. And finally, I will also give you one example for each of the types of questions. Okay, first of all, what is really important is that we can gain different types of information from a text, whether it be fiction or nonfiction. And there are two types. The first one is the explicit information. And the second one is the implicit information. Explicit is you know, explicit, you can see it on the text. When you read it, you find that information. Well, implicit, it takes a little more effort for you to get that information. For our purpose, uh, in our curriculum, there's uh, explicit information is known as the literal information, which you learn in literal reading. And implicit information is also called inferential information or inference, which is the subject of our class this semester. Now, we are going to go deeper into implicit information or inferential information. There are three types of uh, inferential information which I borrow from uh, Israel Chikalanga. What are they? Uh, they are first the lexical inference or information about the meaning of a word. And uh, you can get the meaning of a word by looking at the context by reading the entire text and find the definition somewhere in the text, or you can use your uh, dictionary or your prior knowledge, uh, whatever suits you. But the information here is related to the meaning of a word or words. And the purpose of knowing this information is to avoid ambiguity and to get clarity of the meaning of certain words. The second type of information is what we call the logical information or logical inference. This is information about details that, well, you can gain by uh, making connections between one part and another. And information like this can include information about people, about objects, about places and time, and even a process or a why something happens, the cause and effect pretty much. And you get this information in the text. Yeah. And uh, you can also use your prior knowledge, of course, but most of the time, you just need to make connections between parts of the text to find the answer or to find this information. And the third type of information is what we call the elaborative inference or elaborative information you can uh, get this information by making connections between parts of a text and uh, use your prior knowledge of uh, how the world works. And also you can use external sources by looking for information out there in the world that will help you uh, gain information from the text. So when you read a text, the text might have indications or signs or cues about something. And with your prior knowledge, with your external sources, with uh, making connections between these elements of the text, you will gain more knowledge about it. It will be, your knowledge will be elaborate, bigger than the text itself. So these are the three types of information. And how do you get these three types of information from the text? Well, you need to make, you need to have strategies to do that. And the easiest strategy is by asking the right questions. And what are the right questions? For lexical information, you can ask questions as simple as, uh, what does A mean? What does it refer to? And what does yada 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 mean? And so on. So simple information like, simple question like that, will trigger yourself to work uh, and read the text to find the answer, to gain that lexical information. 
this should be the easiest one. The second one is uh, you can ask logical questions for gaining logical inference. And questions like this will include uh, questions about a person, like who, question about an object, what, question about places, where, and questions about uh, time. You can also ask how and why. However, these questions should be able, you should be able to answer these questions by looking at the text carefully and make inferences, make, make connections between one part and another to finally get something that is not explicit on text, okay? And the third one is the elaborative questions or uh, for elaborative uh, information. And this question is usually uh, deeper. It usually includes a lot of uh, possibilities of answer. And sometimes the questions can be subjective. A question, for example, uh, several questions that I can show you here are, what kind of society do you know, these characters live in? Or uh, when do accidents like this usually happen? In the text, it doesn't really show when it happens, but by uh, making connections between the text and also with your prior knowledge or with external sources with, which you can get from research, you can eventually answer uh, questions like this. And uh, questions like uh, why or how that are not really clear in the text that you can find the answer to by, well, asking yourself to get your prior knowledge and to read other sources. Like questions like uh, related to the end game, uh, the movie, uh, you can ask why is uh, Bruce Banner shy when he sees his younger self, the younger Hulk, uh, smash things? The answer can be, well, I guess he is shy because Hulk is so uncontrolled, okay? That can be answered by, uh, by looking at the text, but you can get a deeper answer by, for example, saying that it seems that uh, this person has matured, uh, this Hulk has matured so that he can control himself, he can uh, control his anger, and he pretty much is a more mature version of a man, of a person. And uh, when somebody is more mature than uh, she or he was, then uh, this person is often shy to look at them, their younger selves. And uh, it can be proven by a lot of uh, studies in psychology. So that's one. Or if you can, if you want to, you can make evaluative, elaborative questions like, is something good? Is something justified? Is something ethical? In the case of, for example, uh, Ultron here, we can ask whether uh, Tony Stark's decision to make, to create Ultron is justified or not. Is it ethical for Tony Stark to create Ultron? Which is a combination of knowledge from around the world, yeah? So these are these three types of questions which you can ask. The electrical questions about the meaning of words, the logical questions uh, to find uh, connections between elements in the text, and finally, elaborative questions which helps you, uh, which help you find answers from the text and also which force you to find deeper answers from outside of the text. I guess that's all guys. So I'm bringing the party to you soon. Bye.